What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some new arrivals, some things that are coming soon, some other awesome stuff at DLT Trading. Why are you doing this again? Didn't you just do this like a month ago? Yes, I did DLT Trading just a month ago. The reason I'm doing them again is because the stuff that they have dropped in the last month has been absolutely ridiculous. I want people to be paying attention uh, to DLT Trading because I have a feeling, and I'm usually right about this, that the best stuff is coming towards the end of the year. Um, yes, I absolutely benefit when people use my links, but you guys know that I work with a lot of different retailers and I'm just trying to get the best information out there. I've been watching everybody and everybody's dropping a lot of really cool stuff right now, but holy crap, anybody who's been watching DLT over the last month is gonna have the exact same opinion. I've actually ordered two different knives that dropped. They had a random hinderer drop here lately that surprised me and I was lucky enough to grab one. I'm telling you, if you're hunting that thing and you just don't know what that thing is, you need to be paying attention to DLT trading. I will link this page, the restocks page, the drops page, the Christmas page, all of it right down in the description so that you guys can check it out if you want to. You don't have to sit here and listen to my commentary. But if you want to sit here and listen to my commentary, then I'm absolutely going to do that. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you want a tip, it isn't always exactly the same, but DLT trading tends to drop new things at about 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, again, it's not always exactly the same, but sometimes I'll refresh from 10.59 to 11 and a whole bunch of stuff will populate. Sometimes you can get countdowns for things if you're not familiar with this page, right? Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, the uh, DLT drops page, you can see that pair of three in 20 CV is still available and there's a good price on it. Um, but uh, let's see here. December 16th. Okay, so the Venom Jack. Um, I'm recording this. Oh, is it? Did it say December? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's already out. I want to find one that uh, is actually going to be listed at a uh, specific time. So today, my time is December 16th. So these just dropped. I was trying to give you an example of one that actually has a timer on it, but sometimes they'll show timers. Sometimes new stuff that's dropping will not have a timer. In fact, they won't even be meant they, they won't say anything about it dropping right like this stuff not that any, i mean not like the the hatchet was something that people were specifically going after but some of this stuff just dropped without any indication whatsoever and you're like okay great that's not any different than any other retailer right my point is pay attention right around that time that's how i got my hands on the s45 vn spear point xm18 three and a half inch and i had no i had no idea they were dropping if they made an indication somewhere else i had no idea but i just have a feeling that some of the craziest stuff that they intend to drop is not here yet and it will you know it'll it'll populate sometime between now and the end of the year um i think the first thing i want to do is go to the restocks page just to cover it really quick this is a cool page and look at, look at right there. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There's a freaking stitch just sitting here. I'm, I, I kind of want to buy this. I kind of want to buy it like right after seeing it. I didn't, I, I had no idea, but this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about. This is obviously, I'm not saying that every single person in the whole world is hunting a stitch right now, but this is absolutely something that drops and there's only a few of them and people, you know, if they knew it would be gone right this is one of those things and it's probably just sitting here because nobody knows about it this is a page that i always frequent right a lot of other stuff that we you know expect to see here there's a drunken these are these were already incredibly expensive and now they're 507 dollars right yeah that's a lot of money and it's kind of crazy and i get it right but at some point you know somebody's gonna come along and go hey that's exactly what i was looking for you know um, uh, they have the, uh, SOCOM Bravos just sitting here, the non-serrated ones. Also not something that I had any idea, right? I'm hoping that I'm going to drop this Saturday morning, hoping that some of this stuff is still sitting here, but this is absolutely a knife that people have been trying to get their hands on, right? Because all the, the ones that have been dropping here lately are the serrated ones. Um, and you know, it might be, I'm sure a lot of people go, I saw that that's all over the place at various retailers, probably, right? But some of this stuff will just sit here and, you know, people have no idea that it's available, right? I think the second page is probably not. This is just restocks. I'm not, not that this entire episode is about restocks, but 
Um, I absolutely want to highlight some of this stuff. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Is that a titanium scale? Textured titanium um, hinder eclipse warthog scale for the eclipse. I am absolutely certain somebody will pick that up. We have a titanium smooth warthog scale. Uh, anything else restock? No, okay. Let's go to the new arrivals page um, because that is absolutely what I want to uh, talk about here. There are so, it's crazy. Even since a month ago, how much new stuff has dropped at DLT trading. The Heretic Cleric 2s, these are awesome. They are gigantic, 10 and a quarter inches, magna cut. Firing power is awesome. Those are amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad that they're coming out with different colors and things like that. Brian Brown Raptor V2. I'm almost certain that there are people who are after this. Is this a smaller one? Yeah, it's not small. 7.75 inches with a 3.5 inch M390 blade. It's a nice looking knife, 375 bucks. I can't say that I've ever handled this one specifically, but I know that um, a lot of people, whoops. <laughs> I know that a lot of people uh, talk about those and are definitely interested in them. If you like open L's, there's a bunch here. I don't, I not an open L fan. Whole bunch of Olamic Cutlery Whippersnappers. A whole bunch of new ones. I think these are the new bolster. Yeah, it's just like I said last time. These are the new bolster lock ones. These are the ones with the amazing action. These have far and away, if it is exactly the, um, the version that I'm thinking of. Yeah, these bolster lock versions have better action than any knife that um, Olamic Cutlery has released outside of maybe some of their custom, like their their like the, like maybe like the full size Wayfair or something like that. Um, those are absolutely ridiculous. And they have so many different versions. So many. If you're looking for something unique, there you go. I handled uh, the attention to detail MK2 and they're cool. Um, both uh, of the versions that I handled had um, lockup issues, but that does not necessarily mean that they are all that way. I'm just letting you know my experience. Heretic Rocks, production Heretic Rocks. Remember when everybody was all upset? $700, God! Well, it turns out they're not actually $700. Those are special variants that cost that much. The standard versions, which are in Magna Cut, are $399. These are US made, and they are made, in my experience, they're the same quality as Microtech, right? So there you go. If you're looking for that, bunch of new flashlights. I don't know what the Medford STA, they have a lot of new Medfords here. And something that I think people will find interesting is we have uh, H-Frame, tons and tons of H-Frame Marauders in S45VN and even the MIDI, they have the medium sized ones in S45VN, S35VN, Praetorian Genesis T's. These are the medium sized ones. They're not the ones that are absolutely gigantic. Um, so if you want to carry a Praetorian, they have the medium sized ones, tons of S45 VN variants, which is excellent. I think it's a great move. Um, I'm, I'm honestly tempted to pick one of those up. I think it's a great move to S45 VN, um, uh, because that's, you know, that's something that, uh, everybody has figured out how to properly heat treat. And it is probably one of the best user steals. I mean, when we're talking balance, it's one of the best user steals on the market that is able to be consistently heat treated. So generally speaking, what I'm saying, if you buy something that is ultra premium, that is utilizing S45VN, you will likely get that steel optimized on your blade. Uh, new Finch knives, those are cool. Leatherman Signal, interesting. Uh, let's move on, there's more, there's, there's so much more that I wanna talk about and I'm just trying to get um, to the page. Um, the Spartan Harzi folder join or die in Damascus definitely looks cool. I really want to add a Spartan Harzi to my collection. I'm just not 100% certain that that's the one. The Warhound Ultratex, the Bronze, that's a UTX-70. Oh, that's a, no, that's not an Ultratex, that's a UTX-70 Warhound. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see one of those. That's cool. Lots of Exocets. They have, I mean, like every Ultratex that's ever been is like available right now. More Genesis T's, Praetorian Slims. They got Genesis T's and S35VN, if you for some reason don't trust the S45VN. More H-Frames in S45VN. I just, oh man, that's nice. That's just a good one there. Good price on it too. MIDI, M-I-D-I. -I. A lot of people think that this is a teeny tiny thing. It is not. This guy's, I think eight, yeah, it's eight inches overall. 
which says 3.25 inch blade. It's about three, three and a half inches. Blade stock thickness is 190 thousandths and so are the scales. This is essentially, it's the closest thing Medford has to an XM18. It is not showcasing the finish on the blade. I just bought a Medford Marauder H-frame. Their tumbled finish is so unbelievably good looking. Oh my gosh. The quality of these knives versus back when I first, you know, handled one in 2013 or 14 is off the charts. Um, this is a, uh, this is a great, I mean, if you, you know, compare it to a um, full tie Hinder XM18, right? We're looking at almost exactly the same price. Very similar in size. This is actually a, a fairly EDC friendly Medford. And check this out. Those are Torx. The pivot is Torx. Good decisions. Good decisions. Um, that's at least the case with the middies. That one's even less. That's 600. They charge them 45 prior for the PVD um, hardware, right? Oh, man. The only thing that bugs me, um, the only thing that bugs me about my H-frame, my, this is a full-size H-frame. So same thickness, it's just longer. He's still using the old proprietary hardware. Looks fine, but change these to Torx for sure. This is a beautiful setup. I'd have bought this one if it weren't for these weird ledges here. I don't like these ledges. The one that I bought was sculpted. I, the H-frame Marauder has always bothered me because of those weird ledges. But I found an H-frame that was sculpted, which I'm certain that we will see uh, here in some of the next few pages. And I'll give you a, an example of that. These bronze and black ones are absolutely sick. Genesis T's and S35VN, these are the big boys, 650 bucks for an S35VN. I, I, if you can find one of the, when they drop these in S90V or if they eventually drop them in S45VN, that's when I'd pull the trigger on those. Not that S35VN is bad. S45VN is only incrementally better. You could make an argument that the balance is, is you know, it's not something that anybody is going to uh, be able to measure. But, you know, everybody likes it. There's some Genesis T's and S90V right there, or at least there's one. That's a nice one at 740. Uh, Marauder H frame 3V. Okay, so we're getting back into what I was looking at here. Genesis T S35 VN S35 VN Marauder H Tanto S35 S35. Hold on, I'm hunting the good stuff here. I know it's coming. Hang on. The attention to detail with the bar lock is interesting to me because it's a different. Um, you know, it's not the same as the, uh, these are really nice by the way. And they have an awesome, uh, the Oser F22 kick stop has a really cool, like sort of spring lay down flipper thing that I didn't know it existed. It sort of, it lays flat after you deploy it. And it's really cool. These look like they're boring and just uninspired. I mean, some people are going to say that, but this is actually a super cool knife. And I, I, uh, I'm still tempted to pick one up for myself, but anyways, the thing, is that a combat Troodon blue and bronze? That's super cool. More of them, purple and bronze. That one's really sick. Uh, Daytona. I know that these have to be here, the ones that I was talking about. But I'm, uh, I'm trying to pick out very specific Medfords that are here that are exclusives. Uh, that's the reason that I picked one up, actually, is because... I had been hunting for an extremely specific knife that I found was just sitting here. And I had no idea. It's tons of these. Tons of these. If you're if you're looking for a Medford right now, it's it's likely that it's here. Marauder H Nosferatu is kind of a and eh, that one looks kind of okay. I don't know. The Nosferatu is kind of interesting. I'm not sure. Um, we'll keep going here. PMP user two it actually looks like a pretty nice knife. Lots of Harrah's, etc. Um, you know, and if I'm going too fast, it's like I said, all these pages will be linked in the description so that you guys can go through and look for yourselves. I'm just really trying to find, we're getting back into the area that I was from the last video, but I was hoping that it would be on the pages. I don't think it, these are Genesis T's in three V. So some of these are hitting that value mark, like right here. Flamed. This, this is one where I would say your value is about on point. 3V flamed, 
full tie and it's going to have that newer stone wash and these are newer variants with the over travel so if you're going to pick one up right now uh anywhere from six to seven hundred and 3v s45 vn or s90v is what i would go for and you can get those at about 700 bucks which you know when we compare with the legitimate competition i'm talking about full tie demcos full tie hinderers right um yeah we're there your full tie subenzas are still going to be i mean if you reduce it to just materials which is you shouldn't be doing that. Those are still going to be a better buy, right? In the same bolt. We're talking about actual, like, full USA-made knives, right? Your Spartan Harzies also have a little bit of a better price. Um, but I can understand, right? These are these are uh, bigger knives, definitely. And I know that people hunt them specifically. So helping certain people look for certain knives right now. I think what I'm going to do is go right in here and just show you exactly what I'm talking about. The, the only two models that I've been interested in here lately um, are the 187. The best price you're going to find on a Medford, period, is going to be a 187. Um, but the, oh, did they sell them all? I'll show you what I found. Oh, that's Slim Midi. That's not, I don't want specifically the Slim Midi. I want to look at all. Yeah, let's look at Marauder Series. We're talking about knives that actually will work for EDC if you plan to carry them. Nobody's ever going to carry a knife that's that expensive. You are incorrect. Um, they still have tons of them in S45VN, right? Those are absolutely, this one right here and this one, absolutely. The S90V ones I know are still in here, and I didn't know until I dug deep into, um, until I dug deep into this. Midi and S35, that's Midi Tanto, Tumbled. Uh, there's no way that all the S90V ones sold just from the last time that I looked. There's Yeah, there they are, right there. S90V DLT trading exclusive full-size Marauder H-frames. Not original full-size. The original one was a quarter inch. And those are cool, but the, also the cutting geometry was ridiculous. I mean, that wasn't wasn't really going to work very well for EDC. Cutting geometry on these new ones, wow, uh, very good. S ninety V. This one's seven eighty five. S ninety V nine eighty five. Some of these are a lot more expensive. It depends on what you're looking at. Seven eighty five. 785, 785. Some of these have reasonable price tags for what they are. This is a big knife. Eight, I'm sorry, nine and a quarter inches, four inches of blade, S90V steel, and uh, a lot of them look super cool and very unique. So, little treasures there. Um, I am certainly not a fan of the majority of the knives that uh, Medford releases, but I do like the Marauder and I do like um, the, uh, the 187 for sure. Uh, looking at Hinderer stuff, um, there's no way that there are still any 3.5 inches in stock, but we'll click, right? You can sign up for notifications if you want to. Sometimes that helps. Um, these are the ones that dropped here recently in S45VN, and I absolutely did pick one up. It was one of these with the blue. I just grabbed, like, the first stonewashed one I could. But that was the most recent drop, and they just sat there for at least – it had to have been at least 30 minutes. Um, they were just sitting there. Um, I want to see what they actually have that is listed as new – yeah, they were um, also Maximates, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Maximuses <laughs> that were sitting there in stock. And there were uh, Warncliffs in um, the Battle Black DLC, and there were Bowies, XM24 Bowies. All of this was just sitting here uh, yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. I was hoping that we would see a Ranch Bowie. I think that was the one that I just saw that was sitting there in stock, and somebody um, bought it. Um so for right now, oh no, we do have some Emmets. If you've been hunting an Emmet, this is a wonderful fixed blade, by the way. Um, I used to own one and then I sold it and now I kind of want one back. But, you know, I can only buy so much. Jurassic titanium scales, if you're still hunting those. Does it really have to load the entire thing on page two? Lots of hardware. No slot clips. 
that'll, you know, are backwards compatible with every generation of Hinder XM18. Lots of Eclipse titanium scales still. You see a lot of the unique ones are sold out, but they're definitely still sitting there. White G10 scales, yellow, green, pink, all the weird ones. Layered for the XM18. Do they have any titanium scales for the XM18 left? They had a bunch the other day. It looks like most of them are sold now. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, the internet for me is very slow today, but normally this side is very easy to navigate. Tons of XM24 scales. Ah, textured. Look at this. <laughs> I can't believe it's just sitting here. Textured stonewashed eclipse scale. If you have uh, recently purchased an eclipse and you wanted to go full tie with texturing, right? This is definitely the most popular scale all throughout the XM18s is the, the tumbled. People ask me all the time, is there really that much of a difference between working finish and tumbled? Yes. Working finish is matte, no reflectivity. Stonewashed is very reflective. Not mirror polished, but very reflective. Tons of these. This is a stonewashed one and the smooth. These are sitting here because people don't know that they're sitting here, right? I'm really glad that Hinder is finally making more. But, you know, there nowhere near enough to where everybody if everybody who was a, a wanted one was aware now they'd be gone <laughs> they're like listen to you complex trying to drive up you know fomo no no not at all <laughs> i just know i know there are people out there who are as itchy as i am right very cool all right you get the you get the picture there's stuff here right lots my main point is over the next two weeks, obviously you should be watching everybody, but keep a specific eye out on DLT trading. Uh, I know that not everybody has time to sit around and refresh the page minute by minute. Obviously, I'm not asking you to do that. But if you're hunting something weird and unique and you've got a, you know, a reserve fund and you're trying to buy yourself or somebody else a Christmas present, refresh the DLT page at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's when I've found that you usually see the stuff drop. Sometimes they do random drops in the afternoon as well, uh, 3 or 4 p.m. it seems like, maybe 2 p.m. sometimes. It's, it's quite a window, but um, yeah, definitely check them out. I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and going through DLT trading again. I'll probably do another retailer um, next weekend, just before Christmas, and then we'll do uh, some other content uh, in place of this stuff uh, before the year ends. But uh, anyways, that's going to be pretty much it today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.